Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our celebration of this Mass on the memorial of St. Francis Xavier, priest. And for the, the intention of this Mass, it's being offered for the repose of the souls of Dangli, Carmencita, and Carmencita Galman. Also for the intention of Jimmy Obkamp. Entrance Antiphon. I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my kin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through the preaching of St. Francis Xavier won many peoples to yourself, grant that the hearts of the faithful may burn with the same zeal for the faith, and that holy church may everywhere rejoice in abundance of offspring. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, they will sing this song in the land of Judah. A strong city have we. He sets up walls and ramparts to protect us. Open up the gates to let in a nation that is just, one that keeps faith. A nation of firm purpose you keep in peace, in peace for its trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock. He humbles those in high places, and the lofty city he brings down. He tumbles it to the ground, levels it with the dust. It is trampled underfoot by the needy, by the footsteps of the poor. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks. be to God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed, Blessed is he, he who comes, comes in the name of the, of the Lord. Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Open to me the, the gates of justice, I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This gate is the Lord's. The just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. Blessed, Blessed is, is he, he who, who comes, comes in the name, name of the Lord. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Blessed, Blessed is, is he who, who comes in the name of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. 
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house. But it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house. And it collapsed as was com and was completely ruined. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. It is an invitation for us once again to rely on the Lord and put our trust in Him for His solid rock for us, our refuge in time of need. And again, he puts this uh, in, in two consideration, being a wise person or a fool. And he told us the, the story of two men who built their own houses. Both of them faced the, the storm. But the difference is that one who built his house on rock withstood the storms while the fool who built his house on the sand, his house was ruined after the storm. And then he, Jesus made it clear that the one who built, establishes his life or his house on rock, which is Christ, which is God, will survive, will have uh, all the strength that he or she needs in order to with to face the trials and tribulations of life. While the fool is the one who listened to the word of God, the same as the wise man, but did not put them into action. Keep it to themselves or himself or herself. And as a fool, you know, did not rely on anything but himself or herself. So it's a choice that we have to make. We can be, we, we all can listen to the word of God, but what makes a difference is that for those of us who have heard it, we must put it into action. First of all, have a, a personal relationship with God through prayer, because friendship is developed through communication, and prayers are, are ways of making that connection with the Lord, and therefore being close to, to Him, as well as uh, learning from what we have heard from the gospel, uh, what we have read, that we can put those things into action and be Christ's hands, eyes, and ears so that who we see in others is Christ himself and who we listen to in others is Christ himself and who we serve truly is Christ. And through these, we build and establish solid ground in Christ the rock. With confidence and trust, we now offer our prayers to our Father in heaven. For all who hold leadership positions within the church, may God strengthen and guide them as they witness lives of faith and service, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our national and local leaders, may the Holy Spirit lead them to find peaceful solutions to conflict and division. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For those who are most vulnerable to the virus, may the Lord place them under his care and protection. We shall also pray for the frontline workers and for those who are caring for the sick. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community and those of you joining us live streaming of the Mass, may the Lord look graciously upon the needs of the most vulnerable among us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially for the repose of the souls of Dang Li and Carmencita Galman, may, they, may the Lord grant them eternal rest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own intentions, we now pray in silence. Let us also pray for the intention of Jimmy of Camp. For this, for these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we entrust our prayers to you in the holy name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all of his holy church. Receive, O Lord, these offerings we bring you in commemoration of St. Francis Xavier, and grant that as he journeyed to, dis to distant lands out of longing for the salvation of souls, so we too bearing effective witness to the gospel, may with our brothers and sisters eagerly hasten towards you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Francis Xavier, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and, and profess, profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until, until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Dang, Le, and Carmencita Galman, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that, grant that they who were united with your son in a, in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. Let us now join together in saying the act of spiritual communion, which is also posted on the screen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your mysteries, O oh God, kindle in us that fire of charity with which St. Francis Xavier burnt for the salvation of souls, so that walking ever more worthily in our vocation, we may obtain with him the reward you have promised to those who labor well in your harvest. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Just to remind you, to if you can join us tomorrow, of course, first Friday Mass tomorrow at, at 7.30 a.m., will be, which will be live streamed once again. But also join us for the Holy Hour of Devotion to the, uh, Divine Mercy at 7 o'clock in the evening, which will be live streamed here inside the church. It's, we will be private. Um, so join us at, your, at the comfort of your rooms or homes. Uh, that will be 7 p.m. tomorrow evening, and we'll end with the benediction. So I uh, wish that you could join us. Um, also, just be careful, please, that uh, because of the wind. And for those who have no electricity, hopefully that you will have that back today. So be safe, please. And thanks to my tech team for, again, helping us to make sure that we reach out to you, for those of you who cannot join us in person. And also, I apologize that uh, because of the air conditioning, blew the, the candles, and the wick is very short, so it's easily can be put out. So thank you for your understanding. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.